Good evening, everybody. Thank you for attending this evening. This is the Licensing and Appeals Committee meeting on the 30th of September 2021. An emergency evacuation announcement, first of all. Should we be required to evacuate the building, would you please leave the building via the hall entrance doors? Turn right, walk straight past the canteen and through the external doors on the right and out of the car park, which is the assembly point. Please do not delay your evacuation to collect any belongings. Please do not return to the building until given permission to do so by council staff. Please note that the meeting will be audio recorded and please switch off mobiles or turn them to silent. Members, there is a need to use microphones during the meeting. When I invite you to speak, please wait until there is a microphone in front of you before speaking as microphones are needed for the hearing loop and for the audio recording. Please, where possible, assist in passing microphones to each other and use the hand gel and antibacterial wipes on the tables if you touch the microphones. Members, voting will be done on a show of hands in line with the Constitution. I will ask for a show of hands for and then against recommendations and will also ask for a show of hands for those wishing to abstain from voting. Agenda item one. Apologies have been received from Councillor Tracy Knight. Are there any other apologies? No? Thank you very much. Agenda item two, substitute members. We have, no, we have not been advised in advance of any substitute members. Are there any? No, thank you. Agenda item three. Um, no visiting members, have we done that bit? Agenda item four, minutes of the meeting held on the 17th of November. Is everybody happy with those minutes? Great. Thank you very much. Agenda item five, to receive declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest, members? Councillor Carter. Uh, yeah, I'd like to declare a pecuniary interest as I'm a Hackney taxi driver. Thank you. On, that, on item six. Thank you. Are there any other? No, thank you very much. Agenda item six, formal adoption of the Rochford District Council Hackney Carriage and Private Hire Licensing Policy. The Council's Principal lic uh, Licensing Officer, Stephen Greener, will present this report. Thank you, Mr Greener. I don't think it's working.
Very much, Steve. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Councillor, Mrs. Shaw. Thank you, Steve, for the report. Very comprehensive. But I must admit, on 6.2, I'm very disappointed that there was only 187 responses. Um, surely, every one of the drivers should be, it should have been compulsory to answer this, because 40 percent, what 40 point percent supported the requirement of safeguard in training which I think is absolutely appalling that we've got cab drivers out there not supporting safeguarding and if they don't support it then they shouldn't be driving because that, I wouldn't want my child my mother or anyone going in a taxi that doesn't support safeguarding Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Greener. Is, are there any other questions? Sorry, Councillor Hoy. Uh, just, I don't think your microphone's on. Just, just a moment. I think perhaps 10.1 should have referred to that then, because we're saying at the moment there would be no impacts. So clearly there are positive impacts from what you're saying. Yeah. And I think that's the idea of having the equality and diversity implications in that we can say there are positive or negative impacts. Yeah. There so perhaps, positive impacts that, uh, yeah, it's okay, I'm picking everybody up on equality and diversity implications at the moment. I just think it should be used more. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor. Are there any other questions? Okay. Councillor McPherson. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Steve, um, you, you raised the point that 67.4% um, did not support the seven motoring offences. Um, I don't know if you want to give us any more details on that because it's actually quite um, surprising, if not sho shocking, because um, it does say a minor traffic or vehicle re related offence which is one that does not involve the loss of life. However, it includes driving under the influence of drink or drugs, driving whilst using a mobile phone, and has not resulted in injury to a person or damage to any property. So that they, they seem quite reasonable reasons. So is there any background as to why they
Um, may I, Chairman, through yeah, you? Certainly. Um, I don't know if there's anything around possible um, information that can be passed to um, the taxi drivers. I know Safe of Road Essex will be able to give you some statistics of road accidents caused by drink, drugs, um, or mobile phone use, or any handheld device. Um, I, I, I'm quite pleased that we do um, have it at seven points, Chairman. Um, we're looking after the people in our, well, not just our district, but people who are using taxis in our district. Thank you. Thank you. As far as I'm aware, it's a self-reporting system. Is that correct? Uh, we have the DGLA checks, but uh, we run everything after the next five years. So we run the They should also report it as self-reporting. Um, but we also have that back up as well for the person who wishes to do self-reporting. Excellent. Thank you very much. Do we have any other questions? Thank you for that. Councillor Hefty. Sorry. Sorry. Right, Lauren, I've got this one. <laughs> um, just uh, for clarification, on 6.29, where it's got um, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, and on the 11, it says conviction or completion of sentence. And every other one says completion of sentence. Should that may be the same as for clarification? Completion of any sentence or driving ban imposed. Completion of any sentence, driving ban imposed. And that one is conviction or completion, which is the handheld. So could we maybe take conviction and put completion like all the others, or just for clarity? Thank you. OK, thank you. With that slight amendment, um, are there any other questions? Right then, members, um, there's one recommendation set out, and that is that the Hackney Carriage, pr carriage and Private Hire license, Licensing Policy 2021-26 be approved. I recommend, I'd like to propose that that's the case. Do we have a seconder? We have a seconder. Thank you, Councillor McPherson. Right, can I see a show of hands, please, for the um, proposal? Against, please. And any abstentions? Okay. That's carried. Thank you very much, <coughs> councillors. Thank you. I think we're on item seven now, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, item seven. Thank you. Uh, pavement permissions. Council's Principal Licensing Officer Stephen Greener will present this report once again. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. 
documentation, management in particular, licensing system, and then in line with the High Court Wakefield legal case, um, which means that the licensing scheme cannot make a profit against an employer. If a licensee refuses, I apologise for jumping back a paragraph, um, the process allows an appeal process at the cottage for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. Green. Are there any questions from members? Councillor Hoy. Yeah, thank you for the report. Um, comprehensive, comprehensive as ever. Um, I was on this committee when we decided not to charge. Um, I think the same rationale is still there for not charging. The high street is still very delicate. I'm surprised there are still only five. I think there were five last year who were using it, um, and there's still only five. I think, given the state of the hospitality industry in this country, given the restrictions they still have within trade to a certain extent, a hundred pounds doesn't say seem a lot, I know, to many people, but I think it can make a big difference to some of these businesses. Um, I'm not saying never charge. I'm saying perhaps I would support deferring this for a year and then viewing it again to see how circumstances have changed for these businesses. I'm just really concerned. It, it's One, it's giving the wrong impression, and two, it is costing the money. We're, we're trying to help the high street recover at the moment. I think this will give the wrong impression and it won't help them. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councillor. Uh, do you have any answer to that at all? So I think I'm actually moving a motion to do Are that, actually, which I didn't quite say, did I? So you're probably quite confused. So I was moving a motion to say to defer the, so I t the, the three that that we agreed to postpone the the hundred pound administration fee to be reviewed and at the first of October, 2022, thank or 13th of September, 22s. Do you have a second for that, date. please? Okay, thank you. Councillor McPherson. Thank you, Chairman. Um, just before, um, uh, just a question then, Stephen. Um, Councillor Mr Hoy mentioned um, there was only about five applications. Do we um, see any increase? Um, I'm just thinking of workload. <laughs> yeah, we do, but this, Mr. Green, no, Mr. Green is answering the question from from Councillor McPherson. Just just a moment, please.
Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, no other questions at the moment. Uh, Councillor, can you clarify your, your amendment, please, just to um, be clear? I think I need to. Um, that we changed the item, the, the third item on page 7.4. At the moment it says that it be agreed that with the effect of 1st of October 2021, the council will charge a £100 payment permit fee for all applications, whether new or renewed. I'd, I'd like to recognise the fact we are, we have talked about it and it, it's there in the background, but I'd like to change it to that it will be agreed that the committee agrees a charge of a £100 for a pavement, palm, pavement permit fee for all applications but to suspend its introduction pending review at the first meeting after 30th of September 2022. Thank you. I'm I, take are you still in agreement with that, Councillor? Thank you very much. Councillor Shaw? Does it have, is, is it relevant to the, to the uh, amendment? Indeed. Thank you. I actually would support this motion as well, Chairman. Okay, thank you. Right, we'll go to a show of hands if we may for the amendment at this moment. Um, so it, it's item three on the recommendations, so the amendment is as, as Councillor Hoy stated. Can I see a show of hands for that amendment, please? That's unanimous, thank you, that's carried. Um, for the following, for the three amendment, for the three, um, sorry, uh, Councillor Efty. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Mr. Greener, on uh, 7.3, 8.5, where it's got without breaching social distancing rules, could we add why they still apply? Just to make that more relevant. Can you repeat that for Sonia, please? Uh, 8.5. Um, where it says, without breaching social distancing rules, can we put in while they apply? Thank you. Right, thank you. With the amendments, I intend, if in agreement, if everybody's in agreement, that we take these on block. Is everybody in agreement with that, please? Thank you very much. So, um, right, the proposal is that we accept these with the amendments, these, these three recommendations. So. Uh, could I see a vote for all that recommend that will accept this, please? That's you know, Thank you very much. That is carried. Thank you. Item 8, consultation process for street trading policy review. The Council's Principal Licensing Officer, Steve Greener, is busy tonight. Thank you. We'll present this report. Sorry, just a moment, Councillor Efty. Sorry, Chairman, just a declaration of non-pecuniary interest to be in the Watchford Parish Council and Wakering Parish Council. Thank you, Councillor McPherson. The same, I presume. Councillor Gooding, um, that's the same, I presume. Could you put me down for one of those, please? Thank you. Mr Greener, thank you. Thank you. 
Mr. Freena, members, do we have any questions? Councillor Hayfurst, thank you. Brilliant, team. Um, yes, thank you for the report again. Um, a few questions. I'm a little bit con confused. On in the actual your report, you, there are designated roads which are quite substantial, and there's a few in Holbridge, obviously. In one introduction and scope, in paragraph 1.2, it says the council has designated all of its roads, footpaths, fields, and administrative areas as consent streets for street trading purposes. Does that mean that we no longer have designated roads, but the whole area? And fields. Yeah, uh, in so the recreation ground in Holbridge will be a yeah. would need license. Um, it seems quite a leap to go from the roads we had to then covering every single area. I'm a bit concerned about it. I, I I've read the report and I understand what it says, but I'm really trying to understand what what the underlying purpose is. What we're really trying to achieve with this. It seems like we're trying. It's a, I I can't see that it's trying to achieve what the report says we're trying to achieve. It just seems a very blanket coverall to try and cover everywhere and I'm concerned. That's the first concern. I've got three others really. So how would it have, I know it's got in there about markets and I didn't quite follow the, the rationale. Does that cover Rayleigh Market would be exempt? No, Rayleigh Market would be exempt if So if a, say Hockey Parish Council wanted to do a market out in its forecourt, would that need a licence? Right, okay, and it, wherever it did it now, as long as it was in 15 metres off the pub, the highway or route, right. This is where I think it starts to get quite excessive. Um, are unadopted roads covered, or are they just covered to within 15 metres of the highway? Only within 15 metres of the highway. Okay, that's easy. And you mentioned ice cream grounds, because that's one of the other ones I wrote down. So, I mean, apparently they've got to send the, send the application in with the area they want covered in red. That doesn't yes. seem very feasible for an ice cream van. Uh, Do they just circle the whole district in red? We could, hold, we could cover the entire district. Um, there have been lots of issues in the past as well around potential sort of ice cream wars and being outside schools yeah. and stuff like that. And what we'd obviously do is work with the trades and then allocate certain kinds of zones that they were able to then operate in those yeah. So during certain times, we will have certain zones that they operate and the other time frames we can operate within the zone. OK. 
okay. I am uncomfortable with the sweeping nature of it, as you can tell. Um, I'm not sure whether to raise it now or, or perhaps it, something to be raised when the public consultation comes back to see what the public think of it as well. Because um, I mean, otherwise it seems quite sensible in many ways, but I'm just concerned about the scope and putting so many people in. For it, I mean, does, does it cover children selling, selling lemonade on their drive, technically? Unless they're businesses. I don't know what the difference is between this drive cake, driveway and a forecourt, for instance. This is where I'm a bit. bit this is where it gets technical. And the final bit. You mentioned duplication. Surely if we're using this license to crack down on hygiene issues, what's wrong with our normal route for cracking down on hygiene issues, which would be through the scoring process, which I think they would still have to apply for, wouldn't they? Yes, they would still so it seems like we're duplicating some work. Sorry, Chairman, I think I've raised my concerns. I'll prob I'll probably probably will not vote against it at this point, but I'd, I just want my concerns no, that's noted that's within the minutes. Obviously, they will be. Thank you. Absolutely fine. Thank you very much, Councillor Hoy. Councillor uh, Miss Weston. much chairman a very comprehensive report just a question I want to ask obviously this is to do with street trading is there a different policy to deal with um, trading in on places like uh, Hockley Woods um, fates that go on is there is there a different policy or is that going to be included in this policy right thank you thank you chairman thank you, thank you councillor Weston uh, councillor Missy Shaw Thank you, Chairman. Um, as Steve, very comprehensive report as per usual. Um, as Steve alluded to, we, there has been um, ice cream wars this year, um, which are getting out of hand, where police have been called, etc. Will this stop the South End ice cream vans coming in? Because, or will they be, whoever deals with them in South End, licensing team, be told they've got to apply for a a license to come into our Rochford district because I know with South End they're only allocated certain streets they're not allowed to go beyond that in South End but that's why they're coming over to us and this is why we're getting the ice cream wars in front of children I think and this is I think we've got to stop this so this could be very good if we can get this done okay thank you very much Councillor Shaw are there any other questions Thank you, members. If it's um, in agreement, I would like to, we, we have two recommendations. Uh, recommendation one, that the timeline outlined in paragraph 5.1 of the report be agreed, and also that the draft street trading policy be approved. Are you happy for us to take those two recommendations on block? Agreed. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, right. First of all, then we'll do it separately. Thank you, Councillor Hoy. Um, uh, uh, recommendation one, and that's that the timeline outlined in paragraph 5.1 of the report be agreed. Can I see a show of hands in favour, please? That's unanimous. Thank you very much. And item two, that the draft street trading policy be approved. May I see a show of hands in favour, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. And those against, please. None against. Any abstentions? Thank you very much, councillors. Thank you. Those m recommendations are approved. Thank you, councillors. As far as I can see, that concludes the business for this evening. And I'd like to thank you all for attending. Thank you so much. <laughs>